everybody. Today we're going to be looking for these two rolls of pure Wheaties. And I'm actually serious. They are full of Wheaties. So guys, which one do you want to go first? I'm going to go with this one. Again, guys, you know what we're looking for. We're looking for ones that are at least 100 years old. But any Wheaties is good, you know. Okay. So let's see what this roll has for us. 44, 44, 41, 57, 44, 49, 39. Wait a sec, what the heck? Oh my god, I just got gypped. This is not a wheat penny. This is 1966. This is not a wheat penny. You see? 1968. This is not a wheat penny. What the heck? Oh my god. This better have like an older one in here, like a 30s. Oh yeah, a 39. I think that gives up for it. But I want, I want at least a teens. To, oh, that's a nice one. 51. That's pretty cool. I mean, dang, I just got a, a 68. How the heck? Man. Uh, I mean, I can't believe it. A 9... 1968. Ah, uh, well. Ooh! 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 Yes! Baby! Does this actually, uh. A 1919. It doesn't look like it has it. Oops. A 1919. I think this will forgive for it. A 1919. 37. That's pretty cool. Okay. 52. 57. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't look like many of them are in there. Okay, this one's kind of, oh, this one's kind of cool. Actually, I like that. Uh, there's a couple more here. 39, huh. Pretty nice. Got 47, 56. Okay, I'm going to give you a rundown of all the finds. Right, guys, yeah. let me give you the quick rundown of all the finds. Like I said, guys, maybe I did say, I do actually collect, or I collect every wheat penny, but I like very nice condition ones, like, you know, this kind of shape. It has, like, a t toning to it, so I like that. We got first here, that's a 39, that's pretty old. We got 37, a 46, an all right condition. It has, like, it has kind of a toning to it there. I'll show you the other side. The other side doesn't really, but this side it does. Pretty nice. Next we got a 1939 and a very, very cruddy 1919. It is in horrible shape, but hey, it's still a penny. I, or I, what the heck? I said it's still a penny. No, it's a, still a nice teens wheat penny. I'll take it. Um, I mean, like, even though it's like a bad shape. Okay, it's still pretty cool. But then we got it gypped and we got a 68D. So I'm not sure about that. A 68D. I'm really bad about that. But also, actually, no, nah, I'm not really that mad about it. I'm just, I mean, like, I just got gypped. It's a 68. But eh. So we, so the 1919 is pretty good. Um, Like I said, guys, one time I did actually find a Canadian penny inside a roll um i'm actually gonna just go roll the clip right now it's pretty it's pretty epic i think you should check out the video okay take a look <laughs> pretty cool <gasps> oh look at that beauty oh my gosh i can't believe it sorry if i sound really annoying but Oh my, what the? Oh my. This is a Canadian penny in a United States roll. What the heck? Yeah, isn't that kind of cool? So yeah, guys, um, go watch that video for yourself. It's pretty good. All right, so next, let's go through this next roll here. Hope it has... Some good luck to it. Hope you can actually 
get a good coin, but hey, you gotta roll Wheaties, that's pretty good. I'm happy with it. If I can get this open. <laughs> now, I'll just rip it. Okay. Ooh, ooh, got some older. But, I mean, older, more kind of old, so. Oh. Let's look at these before. Okay, they're, they're pretty, they're normal. But, okay, three. Right. Finally, I have to roll over. Okay, that's so, that it. Okay, I do see some nicer ones. Let's see about this one. 1942. Pretty nice shape. I like it. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, ooh, I see a nicer. It's a 55 Denver. That's a nice shape. See another one? No. Okay, it's a really bad condition. 52. Alright, let's just go see the years on these now. Okay, I see a really messy one here. That's just a 44, 58, 56, 55. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my god, what the heck? Another 1919? But this one is in a lot better shape than this. This one, I must say. I mean, like, look at this. I mean, I don't know. I like, I mean, they're both really good. They're both 1919s. But hey, man, we just got another 1919. That's awesome. And I see another old one right here. It's from the 20s, I think. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Not sure if you can see. Oh. Is that 1929 or 1920? I can't see. Sorry, if guys, if it's a little blurry because it's kind of a bad shape. But hey, it's the 20s. We're keeping it. All right, let me zoom out. Okay, that's pretty cool. Next, we got a 57. Oh, well, that's a nice shape. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I had a normal ones in here, but hey, what? One nineteen nineteen for each roll. That's pretty good. Let's see if we get two in this one. Let's hope we do. Okay. Oh, 39. Keeping that. And like I said, guys, in some other videos, just, can you please, uh, like, if I miss anything, just comment down below, like, hey, you missed, like, a wheat penny or, or like, uh, something. Yeah, that'd be really helpful. Appreciated. Thank you. If you do that. If I do with something. Oh, a 37. That's pretty good. Keep that. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ooh. 1930. Keeping that. We're keeping them all, but hey. Kind of what I'm kind of looking for. Alright, see. This one. That's bad. Alright guys, we just hunted this whole roll and I'm going to get the finds in a snap. Alright guys, here's a quick rundown of all the finds. Let's go over some some of the finds right now. Actually, all of them. So here we got all our 30s up here. We got a 39, a 37, a 39, a 30, a 37, a 37, or 39, sorry, and 38. In total, we have... 730, so that's pretty good. Next, we got all of these nice toning ones. We have five of them. This one, it's probably the worst toning, but hey, it has a little bit, a little bit not. I like that kind of thing. We got a 57D in great shape. Let me turn up around the back. Pretty good. Next, we got this 55D, which is in pretty great shape. I must say for myself. Look at that. Yeah. Has a lot of detail left to it. 42, it kind of does. A little bit. Here's the, the, the back side, which is a lot nicer. So yeah, I like that. Next we got a 51. Just a 51. Pretty. Oops. Shoot. We got a 51 in just great shape. So yeah, I like that. Next we have three, three like, 
at least a, a hundred years old. So this one I think is a 1920, but I mean it's just a bad, totally bad shape. So yeah, just still like it, but it's in bad shape. We got a crusty 1919. You can see a little bit more detail, like the Liberty right here. But this one, you can just, if you look, you can kind of see it, but barely, just barely. Next, we got a, a pretty nice 1919 for its age. It's kind of warm, but hey, what do you expect for 1919? A couple things I do want to notice about, uh, or a couple things I did notice by uh, how to tell if it's worn or not. So here we got our nice 1955 right here. As you can see, you see the wheats here on both sides here. So one of uh, this one, the 1919, it's all worn down, so you can't even see it. But here, you can see it really good. You can see all the little details on there. So yeah, so that's what's nice about that one. Just wanted to just put that out to tell if it's wor worn down or not. But then we got gypped. We got a 68D. I don't know how it got in there, but hey. We didn't get a wheat penny for this. I mean, I like those wheats. So yeah, we're yeah, 68. Gotcha. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed all all the the, the coin roll hunting. I'm gonna be putting in these all my your your tubes. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and like always, happy hunting.